Alrighty guys, five wheel by Nicole Dreyer is what we're going to do. And um, I'm the one who drew the artwork for this. I drew this one. You saw that in my flip through of my journal not too long ago. And I drew this one. Um, this one is more rem reminiscent of uh, the finished tangle here. You can probably pretty much see how that turned into that. This one might be a little bit more tricky and so I thought maybe I would do something more along this lines to show you how I changed up the main drawing. First off you're going to need to make a uh, 12 uh, section, <clears throat> excuse me, a 12 section grid, a Rangoli grid, a, a circular grid or mandala grid. Uh, I'm going to use my helix circle maker. You can use a, just a regular compass and just divide it. Okay, so it would be divi divided in half these directions and then inside each of these shapes you want to do two more, right? And make it 12. Um, and then shows where to put this vertical line. You'll note that this one is not on any line it's kind of in between those and then this one is on a line so in this circle you want it on the line and in this circle you want it between okay and then you draw these to make these fives so basically you're drawing the number five all the way around and then you connect the top of this to sort of the middle of this with a line and then you uh, connect your middle whirly bit in the middle and you end up with this and then I ended up see you can see my five shape right here Right, like that and then I just embellished added some red made see I kind of I kind of took this look that one and embellished and then I was inspired by this kind of curvy one but I did it totally differently and I ended up with this so I want to kind of show you how I kind of came about to something similar to this my the one I do today may come out completely different than either of these other two. But I thought, you know, I wanted to show you how you can be creative. I am going to uh, find the middle. Oops, I need to turn on my light so you guys can see. I'm going to find the middle of my page by just drawing corner to corner. Doing it very lightly, you might not be able to see it very lightly and then I'm going to take my circle maker plop it right there the center right in the center with the zero on one of those lines just like that that looks good and then I am going to draw my circles I think I want it big is that where I started trying to remember when I did that no I think I, I need it a little bit smaller than that let's make my my mandala this size like that and then maybe here and I can't quite make one small enough for the middle so let me do this. I'm going to draw every 30 degrees because that's what makes a nice 12 pi shape. Oop, come on, turn. It's stuck. It gets that way sometimes. Just have to ease it along.
and then that should be it okay so I've got that but I want to make a, a smaller circle right there in the middle so what size do I want I think I want it really small so I'm going to do this one so what I'm going to do is line them up with my diagonals if you line up that's why they have these little triangles here if you line up this one with this line there's my cross this way and here's my line that goes across this way and if you line those up you're pretty close it's not exact 100% but it's pretty close being right in the middle okay so now I've got myself a little Rangoli grid there Put that over there and then I looked at this and I said okay so this one I'm gonna just do it in pencil to start every other one is going to have this line this is the line we want every other one I'm just going to make that a little bit darker with my pencil. Okay, every other one. Now, can you see can you guys see that that I've done that? Yeah, I guess you can. Okay. And then over here So if that's this line, then this line is about here. I'm doing this in pencil because I, I'm actually going to do it slightly differently in the pen. So, but I just wanted to show you how you would do the main pattern first in pencil. Okay, so like every other one, about like that. And then you would connect, this would be your five, be one here, 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 and here. Okay, do you see that five? Yeah, you guys can see that five. So here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. Here, here, and here. There, there. And there and then you would do this line going this way straight like that so I'm just drawing this in pencil because what that I did then is I rounded everything and that's how I ended up with that other shape okay can you see that can you see how I drew that you can see it right so now what I'm going to do with my pen, and I really need a new O1 pen. Do I have any more O1 pens? This one is drying up. Um, no. Do I have any O2s? I have some O3s. Is O3 way too big? Oh, oh, three will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. Change over to this Bianyo Micron pen. It's water-based, water-resistant. Um, got it in a package somewhere. I don't know. That's what I'm going to use because my Micron has dried up. So instead of doing the straight lines like that I did a curving line and I did it from here around to there from there around to there
So I basically did the same shape. I just curved it. So now I'm going to go curving down and around and around and around. Okay, I'm going to go down here and around and around and around. I go down and around and around and around. That one was a little funky. It's all right. So that's how I kind of made these curvy shapes. I did them a little less hoopy. Um, the one that I did on the sample, I did more of a, a five that kind of looked like, like this, and then like this, and then like this, kind of more like that. This time, you, you almost don't see the five. It's right here. Okay. And then I just played with lines and curves. So I decided that I wanted to do Sort of a peppermint pinwheel sort of a thing happening here. And then I think I want to do... that and then then what do I want to do let's do this Why? I don't know. I'm doing it differently than I did before. I don't exactly remember what I did before. I've always said that if I tried to replicate a drawing, I couldn't. And I really can't. I can't replicate what I did previously. I can do something similar, but I can't replicate it exactly. Because I'm constantly evolving how I draw or what I draw or what I'm interested in. 
or the way my pen moves in a particular day. I really can't even replicate one curve to the next exactly. And I think that's the interest and joy of hand-drawn art. Not that I think digital art is bad, but when you do do digital art, it it's easier to uh, replicate shape over and over because you can like copy and paste. <coughs> I think we're going to go this way. I really should use a bigger pen for coloring in this biggest space. I do like to change the size of my pens. And I think I will. I, I will just, I'll draw this one. <clears throat> and then when I go to draw the next one, I'll, I'll switch over to a bigger pen. After I've made my shape. The shapes are going to be this shape. Like this. See, each of those are different. And then then I'm going to go ahead and I don't know. Let me let me color the rest the next bit first. Uh, where's my 08? Color in with an 08. If you guys don't know, if you um, leave a little space like this that's not colored, it looks like shine, like a, like a shiny ribbon. It's very easy to just not color there. I'm using the, the axis, you'll see that that's where my pencil mark is, so that my shines are kind of in the same place on each of these ribbons, even though the ribbons themselves are slightly different widths. It'll keep my little shiny bits in a row. See, like I would have felt like it needed to be more over here, but that's not where the line is. So I'm going to stick with where the line is. It'll be my guide. Okay, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, I am a little still trying to recover from that flu. That was just a heck of a flu. And no, I did not have coronavirus. I had influenza A. Went to the doctor and got tested and everything. My personal opinion is that we're getting a little carried away with panic. But it's been interesting to watch the psychology of panic. Because that's, that's been really quite interesting. Bring this one over like that. 
that. Ooh, that went a little bit further out than I wanted it to go, but that's okay. Hopefully by the time you guys see this, which, let's see, this will go up in a couple of weeks. Uh, hopefully by then, things will have calmed down, but I don't know. I don't know that it will. That looks good. And now I'm going to do some coloring in with the black. And it looks completely different than the other shape because I did these ribbon things differently because I don't remember how I did the other ones. Now these look more like pickles. Or something. Not sure I like this shape, but we can always change it just by adding some more lines. So if I decide I don't like the shape of this, I can fix it. And I may just do so. I can't leave a sparkle there because I didn't leave any ribbon there. That's okay. Just follow the pattern. Same here. It's not wide enough right there to leave a sparkle. I'm not saying anything. I'm getting in the zone, you can tell. Let's let's do a question from the book. If you could physically transport yourself to any place in the world at this moment, where would you go? I think right at this moment, I would like to be on a... You know, I'd really like to see a beach that had sand that was not 
normal sand color. Like I would like to either go to a black sands beach or a green or a pink sands beach. I know they exist and there are not very many of them. That's where I'd like to go. Sitting in a cabana somewhere. Or maybe not even in a cabana. It doesn't have to be in a cabana. But I would like some shade. I'm not really I'm not really a beach person per se because you're kind of pretty much exposed out there in the sun and the sun and I are not always friends. I like a nice sunny day but I like to sit in the shade and enjoy the sun from afar. Um, but a nice warm kind of tropical day. Not a lot of crowds. Quiet. Just listening to the surf, like that. That would be awesome. On a beach that's differently colored than the beach I have uh, available to me here in Southern California. Something different. Okay, almost done with this part and then I can step back and evaluate what I've done, what I want to do, where I feel like this pattern wants to go. Getting a cramp in your hand, change the position of your pen. Don't continue drawing crampy. Relax your fingers. I was I was tightening up. I was getting tense. Don't do that. Okay, so now let me just kind of stand back and evaluate what I like about this drawing, what I don't like about this drawing, what I want this drawing to morph into. I think I want another ribbony bit. Why? I don't really know. I just do. So, I'm going to do that. This is the point of CPT. CPT stands for Creative Pattern Tangling. And I'm taking a pattern I'm using it as a base and I'm just playing with something else to add to it, to, to embellish it, to um, create something different. And why am I doing this? Because I want to. Because it feels right. Because I don't want to be done quite yet. So I'm adding to it.
That feels better. Uh-oh. Running out of juice. You guys might get cut off unexpectedly. I'm going to try to color fast, but you might get cut off unexpectedly. So I'm going to apologize in advance for that. I definitely am going to have to buy some new camera batteries because they do not last as long as they used to. And I am not used to that. And I forgot to switch it out before I started this particular drawing. And that was my mistake. But that means that you guys may get cut off. I'm just going to keep drawing until it stops. If that happens, I'm going to apologize in advance. I am not going to switch batteries and edit and, and continue on. You just get as much as you get. It's life. It's how it happens. It's going to be abrupt and unexpected maybe today. So perhaps I should put the name on it so you guys remember what the name is. It's five wheel. And I'm gonna sign it down here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a a look at it here. And then I'm gonna keep on drawing until I run out of juice. I don't know how much time I have from the time I camera starts blinking at me till the time it just shuts itself off. So I'm just going to go as fast as I possibly can. But I should have gotten more than a 32 minute video out of this camera battery. So... I apologize. I forgot I was going to do that. And then I haven't drawn in a little while, so... Um, yeah. So you guys get this sort of raw, uh, unedited, this is life kind of thing. Um, many other artists will edit, they will voiceover. They will do all sorts of things. That's just not me. Um, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. It's just not me. And you get me in the raw. That's what you get. I am who I am. You see what you see. And if I finish this differently, I'll try to Try to remember to take a picture of it and post it somewhere. Either in the Facebook group for Pattern Dash Collections or on my Facebook page or maybe even in the community tab of the YouTube somewhere. I'll get, I'll get you a finished product. Like I said, I don't know how long you're going to last. You seem to be lasting longer than I thought you would. So that's good. Maybe I'll actually finish. Well, this is... I need a... I need more. I need... Where's my brush pen? Come on, brush. I need more. Faster. Faster coloring in. The brush goes faster. here. Oh, I didn't leave. Okay, that'll work. A little bit of shine. I'm working as fast as I can, guys.
Oh, this pen is not cooperating. Are you still there? Yes, you seem to be still there. Okay. I really wanted to add some white to this, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to be lucky if you f I finish this off at all. Okay, almost. Apparently, I have longer than I think when the battery starts beeping at me. That's good to know. All right, apparently I have at least five minutes left awesome okay that feels better i really would like to um get rid of my guidelines although you almost don't see them you probably don't see them at all so that's pretty good and i'd like to pop a little white in there i think i have time i don't know I really don't know how much time I have. It's kind of like running on empty on your gas tank, right? You're just kind of gonna taking a guess as to how much, how much, uh, how much you have left. We're just gonna pop the white in the highlights. And really make them stand out. And then if I have time for anything else, then I will try to do a little bit more poppy. I really like to do that, but you guys know that. Okay, and then um, I'm going to find that five so you guys can kind of see it. Something like that. That's better. All right, I want a little bit more right here. Why? I don't know. Because I do. Alright, I'm happy with that. I think that's all I'm going to get out of this battery. I'm <clears throat> pushing my luck. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. Go take yourself away to someplace quiet and calm. And if you can't actually physically go there, take a moment to think about that White Sands Beach. Think about that place you want to go. And uh, put yourself there in your mind. <sighs> Take a deep breath. It'll be okay. I'm going to do that because I'm all stressed out about this battery thing. And I will see you on the next video with a fresh battery. See you guys later. Bye-bye.